Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Zoom integration with Gmail so that it can make scheduling meetings super easy. It'll be an absolute breeze once you get this set up. But before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell if you're feeling generous so that you can get updates about all of my latest content, which is coming out constantly on YouTube. So that said, that's my pitch. I'm done with it. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is make sure you have a Zoom account. That is a prerequisite here because you will have to sign into Zoom at a later step. So if you don't have that already, make sure you go get a free Zoom account. Make sure you have your login credentials handy. All right, from there, you're going to log into gmail.com. And once you're at your inbox, you're going to go to the right side of the screen and you're going to click get add-ons. From there, you're going to hit the plus, and what's really cool is that it brings you to something called Google Workspace Marketplace. That's a mouthful. And what this is, is a place that you can find integration with a ton of different apps. And honestly, it's something that you should probably check out anyway, because you will probably find a tool that you already use that integrates natively with Gmail through this marketplace, which is really cool. But in our case, we wanna do Zoom integration. So it's right here. If it wasn't here, obviously we could just search for it. So let's click Zoom, and from there we're going to go to Install. From there we'll just follow the prompts, we'll hit Continue. Now it will ask you which Gmail account do you want to integrate Zoom with. We'll click the only one that I have currently. And from there it will then ask for a bunch of permissions. You'll have to say yes if you want to follow through with this tutorial, so I'll go ahead and hit Allow. All right, so I got this error before. It says that it ran into an error, but if we close out of it, we can actually see it shows here, Zoom for Google Workspace has been installed. So I don't know if this is something going on with Google or if it's just me, but it still worked. So we can safely ignore that error. From here, we'll go ahead and hit done, and we'll go ahead and X out of this marketplace. All right, so we can see on the right hand, we have a new icon. We have our Zoom for Google Workspace icon. So let's go ahead and click it, and it'll open up this pane. Now, the first time you open this up, you'll have to sign in with your Zoom account. I have previously installed this, so I don't have to sign in. If I click these three little dots, I can refresh it. And we see that it does show that I'm signed into my Zoom account. Now, like I said, if you have never signed in, this is where you would do it. Now, from there, I'm going to X out of it because that's what you want to end up with, where you just see start personal meeting. That means you're successfully logged into Zoom. So I'm going to X out of that. Now, as far as scheduling Zoom, now that we've got that add-on already set up and integrated, it's really, really easy. That was the hard part. Now we get to the easy part. All we have to do is head over to the calendar on the right side here, right below the icon for my username. We'll click that. And from here, we just need to pick a date and a time. So I'll click the drop down. Let's say we'll do this at, uh, on the, I don't know, the 14th. We're gonna make someone work on a Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. So I'll click 10 a.m. and this pops up. From there, I'll say uh, test meeting and I can adjust my time if I want. Uh, I can also add my guests, which would be ideal. So you can add the email address of anybody you want to join which you will actually be able to use your Gmail contact list here. So that's super cool. Uh, I'm gonna leave it blank for now because you guys can figure out how to add a guest there. Uh, if we hit add video conferencing, we wanna make sure we select Zoom here and not Google Meet. If we hit Zoom, it will actually populate with a Zoom invite. We can see it right here. We have the meeting host, we have uh, Zoom for G Suite add-on. Uh, there we go, there's our Zoom meeting link right there in the instructions. So. That's all there really is to it. From there, we can then add a description. We can say, this is a, this is a really important meeting. I can't talk today. All right, from there, you have all the, the kind of standard calendar invite type settings you can pick, but that's all there really is to it. You hit save, this meeting now shows up on your calendar. And I'll show you what that looks like if you open it up. So if we click on the invite, we can actually see that we have that join Zoom meeting link here. We have a link for joining instructions. If we click that, that takes us to a separate page that has the password and all of the details to join the meeting. That's all I got for you today. I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this. Stay safe and healthy, and until next time, stay nerdy.